If you are saying everything I try isn't working no matter what I do, I can't drop my last 10 pounds, I can't reach my natural weight, I don't know what is going on. If this sounds like you, you are in the right place. I am addressing today what the heck to do with, if, if you're in that spot where everything you try isn't getting any results for you. And I'm gonna give you a simple process to go through to see if we can find that missing link to get you results again. If we haven't met before, hi, my name is Tanessa Shears. I work with women to help them drop their last 10 pounds in a way that is sustainable so that they can you know, maintain it for the rest of their lives and enjoy the bodies they're living in. That is my job. So what I'm here, I'm showing up here today to help you figure out what exactly is the reason you're not getting results. So let's start with number one. When you are looking at your plan, so let, let's say you think about the last plan you followed, um, whatever it ended up being, whether you ended up trying you know, intermittent fasting or you did vegan or you did paleo, whatever it is, I want you to think very specifically about what the last thing you did was. How many times a week did you plan to work out? What did you plan to eat? Exactly what it was. Now, I want you to ask yourself question number one, how long did I follow that plan for before I determined it didn't work? Okay, so here is the thing that I find. Most people will tell me, oh, I followed it for like two weeks and I didn't get any results, so I just did something else. Well, that's part of our problem. We expect things to work so rapidly and instantly. When we are doing changes like that with our bodies, I mean, your body is different, my body is different. We have to understand that we can't expect crazy results in one to two weeks. So what I need to ask you is, how long did you follow that plan for? So if you're saying anything in the four weeks or less range, I want you to think that maybe that might be the issue. Perhaps what you're actually struggling with is boredom of sticking to something. And instead of dealing with the emotion of boredom and learning how to manage that, you're plan hopping all the time. And plan hopping is never going to get you results because everybody's philosophy and plan is a little bit different based on their experience, their clientele, their coaching. So you need to find something and com commit to stick to it. And I recommend committing for at least three months. Okay, so if you are a plan hopper and you always like new and exciting and fresh and you're jumping from plan to plan to plan because you just want, you know, the new best thing, I've got to tell you, pump the brakes. Three months is how long I want you to stick to something, okay? And I mean, it's a different story if you find that you're gaining weight or you're, things are going in the opposite direction. But if it's just not you know, producing fast enough results. I want you to hold on to it for three weeks. This leads into the second thing we need to figure out. How consistent are you actually being with the plan? So here's problem number two we ran into. We get, we get this plan and we could do it for two weeks, but we modify it because we think we know best. And we think, well, I know how to do that. I can do this differently. Or I'm not gonna food prep, I'm just gonna wing it. Or I'm not gonna write my food down because I know how to do all that. Or maybe you're like, well, I don't like all of these foods over here, so I'm just gonna eat all these foods that I like and kind of follow it. So then we think the diet didn't work. But what I want you to consider is maybe the diet did work, but what didn't work was our modifications to it. The fact that, you know, well, I want to eat later because of this, or I want to have more of this because of this. Well, I want, I deserve two cheat days a week. I deserve to have chicken wings and wine three times a week. This is what starts happening is we start editing the plan to fit us instead of committing to the plan as is because there's no consistency when you're editing the plan for yourself. What that means is like, week to week to week, there's so much variability that it's hard to say if the plan works. And then on top of that, you'll follow the plan from Monday to Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, everything will go out the window. So you're consistent five days a week, and then not two days a week, and the days you are consistent, you're kind of editing it to fit your preferences, and, and this is why we think the diet doesn't work. But here's the thing. The diets work. What doesn't work is our thinking about them and thinking that, well, if we modify them and then only do them some of the times, they're going to work. So we see where we run into this problem. We do a diet for two weeks, but we modify it. We're not consistent with it. We get to two weeks, we get bored, and we're like, let's try something new. And then we say, nothing works. I've tried everything. But the fact is, and I'm going to be really straight, because <laughs> I love the no BS, we are half-ass trying a lot of these things. Am I right? This is what's happening. So we have to look. I need you to be consistent for three months. And then on top of that, like you need to stick to the same plan. Then on top of that, I need you to follow it 
100%. And here's the thing, I always tell my clients, you don't change a dang thing with that plan until you have been consistent for two weeks. The day you stop being consistent, that two week cycle resets before you make any, any uh, judgments on that plan. So if you're the type that's great Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday falls apart, you start on Monday again, your two weeks starts again. That's when you then get to say, okay, how is this working for me now? That's the first time we get to step in and say, how is this really working? So we have to know that if things aren't working, maybe you're not following it 100% and only you can know that. Only you can know if you're, you know, bites off your kids' plates, you're snacking before it's actually meal time. All those things add up. How consistent are you being? The third and final thing is I need you to ask yourself, are you making measuring the progress by the consistency of your daily actions or just how close you are to your goal. So here's what I mean. If you have a goal to drop 10 pounds of body fat, okay, you really wanna reach your natural weight, you wanna feel better about yourself, you wanna be able to pull your jeans on, okay? That is your outcome goal. If you are only looking at the scale every day and being like, I'm not getting any closer to 10 pounds, that might be one of the reasons why you're not seeing results because all you're focused on is that end goal. But here's the thing, those long-term goals are 100% achieved by the consistency of your daily actions. That is what matters. So if you look over a week and your plan is, I need to get to the gym three times in the week, I need to eat whole foods all the days of the week this week because I really want that goal, and I need to make sure I'm getting eight hours of sleep each night. If you look every day and say, did I eat whole foods? Did I get my workout in? Did I get my eight hours sleep? That is what matters. You should be focused on the consistency of your daily actions, not your long-term goal. Because if you're focused on 10 pounds and that's all you're focused on, but your daily actions are like, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, sometimes I have a little more, sometimes I have a little less, I'm special, the rules don't apply to me. If this is you, you are going to be miserable focusing on that goal because you're gonna hinge your happiness and you're gonna tie how you feel to that goal. What I want you focusing on instead is you look at your day, Workout, whole foods, sleep, maybe you have some a water goal in there. How consistent was I? Because I dang all bet you, if you took your actions and you were consistent and you knocked them out of the park every single day of the week, I guarantee you that you will have success on your plan. So we need to go back to it. How long are you staying on your plan? I want you to focus on it for at least three months. The second thing, how consistent are you being? Are you actually showing up or are you modifying it to fit your needs because it's too hard? The next thing I wanna ask you is, are you measuring based on that long-term goal you had or are you measuring your progress on the consistency of your daily actions? Not only does that reward you with feeling good and the little wins along the way, but it is there that your results are created, not by looking down the road at your end goal. So I really hope that has been super helpful for you guys. And I work with women doing this stuff one-on-one -on, -one on a daily basis. I know exactly where the step, the, the trip ups are. And so if, if this is saying to you right now, like, gosh, I need Tanessa to get my butt in gear, hold me accountable. I need her to stop me from my excuses about my consistency and did I follow it and am I measuring my actions? If you want me on your team, you guys, I have opened up a couple spots for March for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. It is by application only because I want to work with women who are ready to step up and take charge, drop their last 10 pounds, put the pedal to the metal and get results. No more time wasting. How to fit it all into your busy schedule. If this sounds like you, I left the link in the description. Head to tanessashears.com slash coaching. And there you can see what the program's about. You can fill out an application and we can jump on a completely free call to see if we're a good fit. And if this is what you need right now to finally, for the last time, drop your 10 pounds so that you can feel real good in your clothes. You can show up at work, be productive, have energy throughout the day. That's what I want for you. Have an amazing week and I will talk to you next time. Bye.